Welcome to Personal Mastery Training. I'm your host, Alvin Brown, former world-class athlete turned entrepreneur and consultant. Join us as we learn from guests who have conquered their inner battles and share their journeys to success. Get ready for inspirational masterclasses and thought-provoking strategy sessions to fuel your path to personal mastery. Let's dive in. All right, so here's what we're going to talk about today in this strategy episode. Release your hostages. Let them go. It's time. You see, many times when I'm helping my clients to level up, to come from behind their and break through their limited beliefs, when I really dig in, I find this is from an instant or an experience decades ago. Because the one thing I heard that I locked in on, the one quote I heard that I locked in on is said that the subconscious mind is timeless. And what that means is that we can hold on to things that happened to us since we were children. From the earliest ages, if it's significantly emotional enough, we lock in on it. We have that emotional moment. It's no different than when everyone can remember where you were during 9-11. What you were doing, what you're wearing, who you're with. Everyone remembers it because it was a significant emotional moment. So I find what happens is we tend, humans tend to hold on to those moments. And they can hold on to them for decades. Even although the perpetrator is now gone, it still lingers on and on and on. And what I find is I say to them, guess what? We are holding them hostage. It's up to us to let them go. Or else we'll never be free. And as it's been said by Maya Angelou, you holding on to it is literally like drinking poison, wishing they would die. So it's time to release your hostages. Because many times, because of the subconscious mind being timeless, it can take us back to the time when that teacher in school said, you will never be any good. And you can remember that D when you put your hard work in and you put everything on this thing and you get the D. And that D sticks in your head. This is where people often get the imposter syndrome happening, where you're doing well. You're doing very well. You're at the top of your ladder. You're top of your heap. You climb the mountain. You get there and you feel someone's going to figure you out that you are a D person because it still stays in your head. So at one point, we're going to have to release the hostages. You see, back in the day, I can remember, we all have some kind of a hostage in us, whether it be a mother who herself was holding on to hostages, a father who himself was holding on to hostages, but never figured it out, never figured it out that they were holding on to, they were keeping hostages. The story and the narrative that runs is, they did that to me, and they must apologize or i'm waiting for them to say i'm sorry well you may be waiting a long time because they may never know what they did you can't give something you don't have yourself so many times many of us are waiting to hear i'm sorry but that's not in them to say that. That's not, they don't even know they're doing anything wrong. They're playing off of their own script from when no one said, I am sorry to them. So here we are expecting them to give us something they don't even have a clue how to find in themselves. Forgiveness. You're waiting for forgiveness when they themselves are also waiting for someone that's holding, they're holding hostage to forgive as well. So they keep handing it down, handing it down. 
I know so many people who are waiting for the father, the mother, whomever it is, to apologize, to acknowledge, to say, I'm sorry, to say, I screwed up, I owe you, and it never comes, and they continue to hold them hostage. So I'm going to ask you, my fellow personal mastery enthusiasts, release the hostages. I had to release my hostages. I had to let them go. In order for me to elevate my game to that next level, it was something I had to do some work on. I had to journal. I had to let my father go. I had to let the perpetrators, the teachers, the naysayers, I had to let them all go because I realized even if I say, okay, fine, what if I give them, what if I let them go 99%, but they want, let me keep 1% because I've gotten used to using it as my crutch. What if I did that? Well, you see, the 1% might as well be 100%. Because I can never, I can never enjoy the fruits of my labor. I can never elevate my game to that next level. Because that 1% might as well be 100 Because I can't fully elevate myself to that highest level of my talents and my potential. Because 1% means I can never be happy. I can never feel fulfilled. I can never be enough. So you see, you have to completely release your hostages. I want you to think about who those are. They might be many. You might be holding on to a whole load, maybe just one. That would be nice. But are you willing to finally, after decades of holding on, are you willing to finally let go. And if you are finding it difficult, especially the worst part is they could be passed, but they're still, you're still holding them hostage and you're not even here to hear the words, to g- deliver to you the words you want to hear. So what will it take? Something I want you to journal. Who is, first of all, who's the hostage? Second of all, what will it take for you to let them go? Finally release them. And then what does that mean, letting them go? Do you forgive them? Let it go what they did? No. So what's the answer? The answer is to release the grip you have on the hostage, whoever that is, whoever you see here feel is a hostage you're holding on to. I'm going to ask you to lightly let go of one hand, finger by finger, release the grip, release the tension in your hands, your forearms, release the hostage. It's time to be free. It's time to finally elevate your game to that next level. Be free enough to become all that you are. Release the hostage. It's time. Okay, my fellow personal mastery tribe, that's your, if you know someone who you keep, a friend who you keep listening to, and they, they, you know they haven't let go of the hostage, maybe they need to hear this. Maybe it's time you let them be free. Give them the key. This might be the key to unlock the gate so they can get to their freedom, so they can finally elevate, so they can finally feel they deserve, so they can finally feel they're enough. It's time. All right. Let's share this. Like, subscribe, share. And I'm going to wish, you know why I do this? Because I I release my hostages. And I'm continually finding someone's hiding in the corner. So I want you to release them because I want you to be relentless about your pursuit for mastery. All right. Until next time. Peace and love.